right, this is Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 6, where we are continuing with uh, teaching students how to do that standard algorithm of multiplication, you know, where it kind of looks like 143 times 58, and it, you know, doing that classic uh, multiplication. But we're going to be doing it through in the area diagram so that students have this visual that they can use to then ultimately understand that standard algorithm because we don't want students just memorizing it. We really want them to understand uh, what it means. All right, in this problem, when we are multiplying 527 times 36, we're going to begin by using the area model, and we're going to think of this as a rectangle. And our rectangle is going to kind of look like this. And I'm not trying to draw it you know, really proportionally, uh, it's, and that's okay. I'm just using this as a representation, and our rectangle is 520, uh, 527 units wide, and it's 36 units high, but we're going to break that up into 30 and 6. And now we're going to find the area of our two smaller rectangles. So we have uh, a rectangle 6 by 527, and I don't know what that equals, so I'm going to multiply. So we've got 42, carry the 4, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, carry the 1, so that's 31. So that is equal to uh, 3,162, 162. And then down here we've got a 30 by 527 rectangle. Nice quick way to figure out the area of that rectangle is just do 527 times 3. And 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. 5 times 3 is 15. And uh, But because we didn't really multiply by 3, we're really multiplying by 30, so I'm just going to add that 0 right there. And so that gives us 0, 1, 8, so, all right. So there's our two areas, and now what we would do is we would add these two areas up. And so 2 plus 0 is 2, 6 plus 1 is 7, 1 plus 8 is 9, 3 plus 5 is 8, and then 1. So our answer is 18,972. Now that's using this visual model, the area model, essentially partial products, another way we could call it is the distributive property. Now let's take a look at this uh, using that classic standard algorithm. So we're going to begin by 6, multiplying by 6, and we're going to multiply 527 times 6. All right, and then, so let's see, so 6 times 7 is 42, and then 6 times tw uh, 20 is 120, plus two more, uh, four more is 16, right, 160. So we're going to carry the 1, put the 6 there. And then 6 times 5 is 30, plus 1 is 31. And then look at that. So here's our 6 times 527 is 3,162. That's exactly what I've got right here. And now we're going to multiply by not the 3, that's really a 30. Um, so when we multiply by that 30, we know that it's going to end in a 0. So I'm going to put 0 right here. There's our 0 because we're really multiplying by 30. But let's pretend that we're just multiplying by 3. So I'm going to erase all that. And 3 times 7 is 21. So I'm going to put down the 1, carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And then 3 times 5 is 15. And now we can add, and look at that. I get the exact same answer. All right, in this problem, Jason buys a car, and he pays by installments. Each installment is $567 per month. And after 48, uh, 48 months, Jason owes $1,250. So what, what happens? So he paid $567, 
then he paid $567, then he paid $567, and he did this 48 times. And then, at the end of that, he still owes $1,250. And then the question is, well, what was the total price of the vehicle? So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 567 times 48. Then we're going to add in this extra $1,250. So, um, oh, let's do the traditional method. And that, that's good enough for me. So 567 times 48. So first we're going to multiply by the 8. So 8 times 7 is 56, so we're going to carry that 5. And then 8 times 6 is 48, plus the 5 is 53. So we're going to put the 5, drop the 3. There's our 53. Now 8 times 5 is 40, plus 5 is 45. Now we're going to multiply by the 4, but that's not really a 4. That's really a 4D, 40. So we're going to stick a 0 right here because we're really multiplying by 40. And fix that time sign. So now we can, f we can feel free to pretend that we're multiplying by 4. So 4 times 7 is 28. So there's our 8. Carry the 2. And then 4 times 6 is 24 plus 2 is 26. So carry the 2. Drop the 6, and then 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 more is 22, and now we're free to add. So you get 6, 11, carry the 1, uh, 12, carry the 1, 7, and 2. So we get 27,216, but that's just all the multiplication. Now we need to add in that extra $1,250, and when we do that, we get 28466 and that is how much money, that is how much money that car originally cost, so $28,466. And that is lesson six, where we're learning that standard algorithm, but we're still kind of relating it to that area model so that math doesn't seem like such a, a magical thing.